My soon-to-be ex-husband humiliated me on our wedding day and met his karma instantly. It has been two days since my wedding day. I had already been with him for four years, one year of which I was engaged. It all started a few months earlier when I noticed my husband, Jake, watching prank videos. Among other things, these videos showed embarrassing photos of the bride being played on a projector in front of the whole room or the bride's face being smashed into the cake. I told him straight away that I didn't want anything like that at our wedding. He just laughed and said that he wasn't planning anything like that. I thought that was the end of it, but I kept catching him making strange arrangements with his friends. He suddenly wanted to choose the wedding photographer and the cake. I thought nothing of it and was just glad that he was helping me with the wedding preparations. Nevertheless, I reminded him the day before that if he did something like that, I would break up with him immediately. When the day of the wedding came, everything went smoothly until the ceremony until the moment came when the cake was to be cut. The whole room watched as I made the first cut and the photographer stood in front of us with his camera in hand. Suddenly I felt the hand on the back of my head, pushing me face first into the cake. Not only my makeup but the whole wedding dress was ruined and the whole room laughed my husband the loudest at that moment. The photographer took the photo and Jake said that this was now our wedding photo. I turned around, slapped him in the face, and ran out of the room in tears. Thank God karma didn't take long to arrive and came in the form of his own brother. I ran to the toilet and started crying when I suddenly heard loud shouting from the hall. It was his brother Frank. I could barely understand what he was saying and when I left the toilet he was waiting for me. He told me that Jake had something to tell me. Jake was shaking and apologized without looking me in the eye. Frank told him to look me in the eye and apologize again. Even I was a bit scared of Frank at that moment because I had always thought of him as a kind gentleman. I had never seen him angry before. Jake apologized again and then Frank led us back into the hall, which was suddenly very quiet and most of our families looked down at the floor a little embarrassed. The festivities were cut short and I was taken home by Frank because I was too angry with my husband and I didn't want to see him. During the ride, Frank apologized for blowing up like that. He explained that my husband was horrible even back when he was a brother and used every special occasion to humiliate Frank. When it was Frank's birthday, my husband would throw his cake at him and break his presents, but back then, their parents always brushed it all off by saying that that's just how brothers behave, so he had to endure every humiliation. But when he saw my husband bury my face in the cake, he was fed up because he realized that my husband was just a bad person who got his satisfaction from humiliating others. I asked Frank if he thought it would be an exaggeration if I separated from my husband and he said no because according to him, I deserve better and he didn't care how his brother felt about it because he had brought it on himself. Then he told me that if I needed help collecting my things, he would help me and gave me his number. I decided to separate from him and file for divorce and inform Jake and my family about it. Jake just told me not to do that because it was just a harmless prank. I was banned by both his family and mine that it would be ridiculous to end our marriage over this, but I see it differently. If he does something like this to me, despite multiple requests not to do it, even after promising he wouldn't do it, then I can't trust him no matter what he promises me. I have to assume that the opposite can and will happen and that he doesn't care at all how I feel about his decisions. This situation can be projected onto so many much worse situations where it would be important for me to be able to trust him. His brother seems to be the only one who supports me now, and I will go through with a divorce. Call me humorless, call me what you want, but I have given my reasons.